Hi, I'm Roxy Lang. Welcome to Children's Church on Saturday, October 10th, 2020. And look at it, it's a beautiful day. The Lord has given us another beautiful day to, to play outside, to work outside, to do whatever we want outside. Um, so it's just a beautiful day out here that the Lord has given us so we can do Sunday school, church school, children's church outside today. So that's just a wonderful blessing from the Lord because I love doing children's church outside. And you can see that the leaves are turning colors in the background. They're all kinds of pretty golds and yellows and browns and reds and oranges and just the beautiful colors of the fall. And some leaves are falling too. And I just had a leaf fall on me just a few seconds ago. So if the leaves fall on me, we know it's fall, don't we? So join me as I say a prayer and then we'll sing a few songs and get into our story today. And today our story is about Joshua. And Joshua was a leader after Moses died. And we, we uh, had the story about Moses yesterday. So Joshua is another leader. And when Moses dies, then Joshua becomes the leader for the Israelites. So that'll be a fun story. And I've been really enjoying these stories of reading through the Bible of the people of the Bible. And God was just blessed these people and he loved them and just continued to lead them to him. So that's how we know that God loves us is because he continues to lead us closer and closer to him so that we know his love and his mercy and his grace. Father God, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for the beautiful sun. We thank you for the blue skies. We thank you for the fall. We thank you for the fall leaves and the beautiful colors that you surround us with, Father God. It's because of you, Father God. Your, your beauty that you put in this world, Father God, and everything you touch, Father God, is beautiful and mighty. And we just thank you so much, Father God, that you have given us this opportunity to live these days and help us to be a blessing to others. In Jesus' name, amen. So the first song we sing today is, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And as you can remember from before, it is a Bible verse too. It comes from Joshua 24, 15. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. And we'll sing that one more time since it is a short, short little verse, a little song. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. And the wind, every time we come out here, the wind starts to blow a little bit, trying to distract us from being able to hear the songs and the and the Bible stories that we want to share, isn't it? <clears throat> so the next song, the wise man built his house upon the rock and we sang that a while back. We haven't sang it since, so let's see if we can remember it. And that also is a story in the Bible and that comes from Matthew 7, verses 24 and 25. The wise man built his house on the rock and the foolish man built his house on the sand. <clears throat> the wise man built his house upon the rock house upon the rock house upon the rock the wise man built his house upon the rock and the rains came tumbling down the rains came down and the floods came up the rains came down and the floods came up the rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the rock stood firm the foolish man built his house upon the sand the foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the house on the sand fell flat. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. Build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. And when the rains came, come tumbling down. The rains come down and the floods go up. The rains come down and the floods go up. The rains come down and the floods go up. And your house on the Lord stands 
firm. So when we build our life, when we build our house on the firm foundation of the Lord, then our life, our house, stands firm in Christ, and we are safe in Christ, aren't we? So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ, and our house, our life on the Lord, stands strong and firm. And the last song we'll sing is, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. And we serve a good, good God, don't we? A mighty God, a glorious God, a wonderful God. The best God and the only God to serve is our God, our Father, our Lord and Savior. The God who gave us Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks, give thanks. Give thanks, give thanks. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. And we just thank the Lord and sing His praise and tell everyone what He has done. Thank the Lord, because he has done wonderful things for us, and he continues to do everything good for us every day. He blesses us day in and day out. Everything that we have, he gives it to us. He blesses us so wonderfully, because he loves us. We are his children, and he loves his children so very, very much. Okay, our story today, and we are still reading from the people of the Bible, and this is such a good book. It is a wonderful book. We are learning so much from this book. And today is the story of Joshua. And we're only going to read half of the story today because it's long. And we'll read the other half tomorrow. So halfway through the story, we'll end it. Hopefully I'll remember where to end. And we'll pick it up tomorrow. Joshua. And this is found in Deuteronomy. 31 verse 1 through Joshua chapter 11 verse 23. So if you want to read it yourself or have your mom or dad or grandpa or grandma or, or bigger brother and sister read it to you, that's where it's found in the book of Deuteronomy in the Old Testament chapter 31 verses 1 through Joshua chapter 11 verse 23. That's where you're going to find this whole story. Canaan was a beautiful city but there were still dangers ahead and remember yesterday when we, when we uh, were reading about Moses and they crossed the Red Sea and they were going into the land flowing with milk and honey and that land was Canaan so they are there and Moses led them there the people that lived there would not like the Israelites moving in they didn't know that the Israelites were coming in they weren't going to be happy knowing that some other people we're going to come over and take over their land. Moses prayed for a new leader to take the Israelites into the land. And God chose Joshua. Because Joshua was faithful in going over to the new land and seeing that they were able to beat these people. They were able to win. They were able to just walk in there and take over the land where many, many other people of the Israelites they didn't believe that they said no there's huge huge monsters huge people over there and we won't be able to take over their land because they're too big for us do not be afraid Moses told him when Moses died Joshua became the leader and God makes leaders out of people who are willing to obey him and listen to him so Joshua became the leader of the Israelites after Moses died Joshua was very wise, and the people listened to him. And there's Moses as he's blessing Joshua, saying, It's your turn to take over, Joshua. I'm, I'm at the end of my life. <clears throat> the time had come for the Israelites to enter Canaan. God promised Joshua that he would give them all the land that they touched there. So God told them, wherever you walk, wherever you go, the land is yours. And when God tells you something like that, that means it's, gonna, it's, it's true. The promised land would stretch from river 
to desert to sea. Joshua knew that there was a big job ahead, one that he couldn't do alone. Be brave, God said to Joshua. I will be with you wherever you go. And that's the thing, same thing that God tells us. He says, don't be afraid. I will be with you wherever you go. I'm with you. So do not fear. Do not be afraid. Joshua sent two spies to check out the town of Jericho. The king soon found out and sent soldiers to get them. Uh-oh. Now it seems like they're in trouble. But does that make any, any difference when God already told them that they were going to get the land? The land was going to be theirs? Yet a woman named Rahab hid Joshua's spies on her roof. So there was a one woman there that she wanted help. So she wanted, so the Lord was going to bless her for, for helping the spies, for helping Joshua's spies be safe. When the soldiers had gone, Rahab spoke to the spies. I know that God is going to give our land to you, she said, but please promise that my family will be kept safe since I helped you. The spies agreed. Then Rahab helped. She helped them escape from the city down a long rope out her window. Rahab also sent the soldiers in the wrong directions. So the soldiers, when they came to her house, they, she said, they went that way. So she gave them the wrong directions. So she was really helping God's people. The spies made it safely back to the Israelite camp. They told Joshua something Rahab had told them, that the people in Jericho were very afraid of them. So that gave him some more courage, didn't it? When Rahab told him, our people are afraid of you. They know that we're, you're going to come in and you're going to take us over. It was time to cross the Jordan River. The priest stepped into the water. Though the river was full, it suddenly stopped flowing. Instead, the water stood straight up so the Israelites could cross on dry land. And remember yesterday in the story of Moses, when they crossed the Red Sea? It did the same thing. Moses went right into the river and the river just stood up like walls and there was dry ground for the Israelites to pass through. So this is the second time that God had the Israelites pass through water and he made the water stand up so they could walk through on dry ground. God had made another miracle. A miracle is an amazing act of God. We've got a little spider that decided to join us here. Okay. So that is where we're going to end today. When they cross the Jordan River. So remember that story of yesterday when they crossed the Red Sea? And that was exciting, wasn't it? That would be amazing if you just stepped into the a huge sea. And all of a sudden, God made the, the sea... The waters stand up on, on like walls so that they could walk through. And the ground was dry so they didn't get wet, so they didn't sink in the mud. God made it dry ground for them to cross over on and to get into the land of Canaan to where God wanted them to be, the land flowing with milk and honey. So did you like that story? I like that story. And Rahab, she protected them. She helped protect the Israelites. The spies that went in there that Joshua sent in and she hid them on the roof and she sent the, the, uh, she sent the soldiers in the wrong direction so the spies would be safe so they could check out the land. So what did you like about that story? Is there something special that you liked about this story? Oh, I liked it that Moses chose Joshua as the leader because he was wise and he listened to God and God chooses people who are willing and obedient to do what he asks them to do. So are you going to be obedient and, and obey God and listen to what he tells you to do and be faithful to God? Because those are the kind of leaders that he is looking for. Someone who's going to hear his voice and desires to, to follow him with their whole heart. And if you haven't asked Jesus into your life or into your heart, then 
it's a good time to do that today as it is any day that you learn about Jesus and you haven't done that yet you can say Jesus I confess my sins please come into my heart I want to give my life to you so I can live eternally with you in heaven so thank you so much for watching and we'll be back tomorrow for another day of Children's Church God loves you Jesus loves you and I love you and have a wonderful rest of the day and please remember to share and subscribe and share with your brothers and sisters and cousins and everybody needs to know the love of Christ so thank you so much